Your belt though. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Where's Bata? Good morning. This is Amy with 100 Plus Abandoned Dogs of Everglades, Florida. Hope everybody is having a good morning. I know it's early. If I'm up, you have to be up. Getting this beautiful day started. I am here at Rescue House 2. Tiffany is at Rescue House 1. We have full houses. Both houses are completely full to capacity. So sadly, when people reach out and ask for assistance, we have to say no, unless we have a perfect foster in place because we have no rooms available. It's very hard for us to say no. As you can see, Balto is doing absolutely fantastic because we have an amazing team here at 100 Plus. We took Balto in as an owner surrender when he was just a tiny little puppy, approximately nine weeks of age. He had hydrocephalus of the brain and we took him to the neurologist. I'm just following him, he's in the corner. We took him to the neurologist in Boynton. He had an MRI. He was put on <clears throat> um, prednisone and as you can see he is growing leaps and bounds and the prednisone is working we don't know as far as moving forward you know how his progress is going to be but he is walking on all fours um, I can tell you that he is all love I can tell you that he is an angel in this rescue house you would think a puppy uh, who would be surrendered at such a young age <clears throat> and picking up poopies. This is our morning routine here. Getting everybody out, getting everybody fed, getting all their poopies and peepees out. Good boy, Bato. Get all the poopies. Yep, picking up all the poopies, Bato. So moving forward with his progress, um, as you can see, he's a happy, healthy, sweet puppy. He is a husky. I don't know full size what he will be. If he will be on the smaller size, it appears to me he will be. But there's no reason why this sweet, beautiful boy cannot be in a loving home. Um, he would do best in a home where somebody is home or works from home and no other animals only for the reason not because he's aggressive but because he gets extremely extremely stimulated and he doesn't know his boundaries and I think it might be too overwhelming for another dog um, little kids there's no room for error so we're gonna stay away from little children but he is thriving thriving um, our wonderful Shelly and Keith who are here day and night nurturing and loving our rescues have worked so so hard and and just I've never seen such compassion and dedication um, my wife Carol who comes here on her um, hours after working a full day to spend time with him and do some therapy because she is a therapist so she works with Balto and our team we are planning, we saw our beach trip. We took Balto to the beach, he had a blast. And he was loving the sand and loving the waves and just running. It was wonderful to see and him experience new adventures as he is right now finding leaves in the corner of a yard. The little things, right? It's the little things, Balto. But uh, this coming Saturday, which is tomorrow, um, we will be taking Balto for water therapy to our wonderful Lori Summers. We're gonna be going to her home with a little life jacket and we're gonna throw Carol in the pool with Balto <laughs> and he's gonna do some swimming exercises. So we're looking forward to that. It's supposed to be a beautiful day tomorrow in the 80s. It's cool right now. Eek, spider. Um, sorry, I just walked into a little spider web. Too early for spiders. Come on, Batos. Come on. Bato, come, come, come. Good boy. Good boy, Bato. 
So look at him running. Look at him running. He is running on all fours. So he flops a little bit. Big deal. Don't we all flop here and there? Who's perfect? He is so loving. He loves affection. Look at him. He's running to the door. I would. Li I literally will put him out here in the yard. Um, right to the stairs and right to the door. Come on, Bato. Come on, Bato. Come get me. Come on. Come on. Come. What are you doing? You ready to go in? The head tilt and all. Hold on. There he is. There he is. Come on, Bato. Come on. Follow my feet. Follow my feet. Good job. When we first took him in, they said he couldn't see. Well, he can see. He sees everything. Um, he doesn't bump into a thing, as you can see. And again, he's on a half a tablet of uh, prednisone in the morning and a half of a half in the evening. And he's just thriving. He's just thriving. And it's such a beautiful sight to see. He really does not need a lot of therapy. No, he does not. Um, his therapy consists of being focused on our feet or an object to follow. Uh, we have a little ramp. Come here, Balto. Show everybody. Let's see if we can do it. Are you? Come here. Come on, Balto. Come on. Up, up. Come on. Balto. Come on. Up, up, up. Balto, up here. Come here. Come on. Come on. I know Shelly's been working. I see her videos. Come on. There you go. Look at up, up. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Good job. Come here. Come on. Straight line. Good job. Good job. Yay, Bato. Come on. See that? He's focused. So keeping his brain focused, that's pretty much it. And it's just a little drunk. Yeah. So he's a little drunk. But he's happy. And he's eating hydrocephalus. Yes. Um, there will be no shunt. The result was hydrocephalus and we don't know if he was born that way but there was no infectious disease everything came back negative we do know that the owner that surrendered balto to us has his mother and father so it could be from just being inbred um that's why people need to spay and neuter people spay and neuter oh good boy you want to play ball <gasps> balto ready balto come come here balto ready Go get it. Go get it. Ready? Here. Ready? Go get it. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Where'd it go? I got poop in my hand. Poop bag. Ready? Oh. Here. 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 Ready? Go get it. <laughs> um, he will come out when I let him out in the morning. And um, he does his pee-pee. Sometimes when he's excited, if I'm holding him, he does a couple squirts on me. Um, but most part, he pees outside. We do put a washable pee pad down in his pen, and he does go on there. But most part, he's uh, potty trained, and you take him out frequently. When he poops, he doesn't sit and squat. He basically walks and drops kind of thing. So as he's walking, um, the solid poop, because his diet is great, uh, he gets dry kibble and a little bit of, of chicken. And he does his business and he's amazing. He does stand to go to the bathroom. Yes, he does not sit in his poop or sit in his pee. Um, I do have some little baby wipes at the door. So when I carry him or bring him inside, I'll just wipe around underneath his, um, his, his penis area. And uh, other than that, he's just a normal, happy, sweet baby doll what can I tell you and he deserves a loving home that is our goal to find that right person that that perfect forever for Balto we do not ship or transport and I've had some people messaging me please open up your mind and let dogs go out of state that is not going to happen and I will tell you no he does not need a wheelchair at all Debra he gets around just fine we want him to use his legs his back legs which he does if he was dragging then that would be a different story no 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 on wheelchair um, but people are asking please please let them go out of state that's not going to happen if you follow us you know how diligent and how 
um, OCD we are to find the most perfect homes for the reasons being we've had over nine years over 4,200 plus dogs that we've rescued revived and rehomed some of the most critical and over a course of time people will tell you what you want to hear and then they let you down and I'm not going to mention any names because there's, there's a lot, but there have been times where people will call us six months, a week, a year, two years. They need to return their, the dog. They can't take the dog. They can't keep the dog. Their life has changed. Um, that is not acceptable. Okay. The, uh, an animal is a commitment for life, a commitment for life, just like having a human child. They don't ask to come into your life. So I've had my life alter and change many, many of times. I've had dogs, I've had cats, and I am not that person that has ever turned in an animal or gotten rid of an animal. Um, I've even had um, an adopter literally take one of our dogs years ago to the kill shelter where we got a call from the kill shelter because we're backed up on all of the microchips of our rescues. Thank God it was local. Um, there was also an adopter years ago when we first started that lived in Boca that we adopted and then they moved to Georgia. We got a call. Our dog was in the kill shelter in Georgia. Um, I am not going to scramble. I'm not going to have put our dogs in jeopardy. And I know that the positive outweighs much more than the negative. But at the same time, um, through our experiences, we are not going to let our guards down. And we're going to make sure that we can physically drive our dog and see the home. Of course, after the potential adopter comes here to meet the dog and tells us, Amy, we're in love, we want to move forward, then we will take the step um, after receiving videos and photos um, and references, then we will take the drive, as we have many, many, many of times. Um, we have driven four hours, five hours each way to get a dog in a perfect, forever loving home. So that does not scare us away. So don't let it scare you away. His name is Balto. So if you're interested, Balto, are you going to get ready for your big, big swimming? What are you doing? You're fixated with the little weeds. Um, Balto, we are going to be having a wonderful day tomorrow. Like I said, I'm not sure of the exact time yet, but we will be taking Balto to Lori's house and she has a heated pool. Uh, where my wife, Kara, will be jumping in the pool with Balto and doing some water therapy with a life jacket. And he'll be kicking and using those legs more than he normally does. It's going to be the first experience of him in water, um, swimming, other than baths that he gets regularly thanks to Mama Shelley and, and Uncle Keith. But he is so very special. So very special. And yes, thank you for that reminder. We have a photo of Balto, um, the one with the coconut at the beach. And he was entered, I believe it was our Anna and Christine. They've been entering our rescue dogs into these photo contests. And we've won quite a few. And they are giving away cash prizes. Some are 200, 100, 500. But every little bit adds up. And it's a no-brainer. It takes two seconds. If everybody would vote daily, hit the, it's just click the vote and, and just hit it every day. I will share that link. I will actually add that link here on this video, Balto, asking everyone to vote. So if you would please take a moment and not just walk away from this video. Um, once I shut down, come back and click the link. And then I will also share it on our rescue page as well. Yes, water aerobics for Balto. <laughs> but I'm going to be coming live at you with quite a few videos today. Um, I know it's been a little quiet. Tiffany did a video of Blake the other day settling into the house. And he's looking for a forever loving home. But I will take you through house two today um, with every pet rescue that we have here. Uh, and then I will ask Tiffany to do the same at house one next door. Um probably tomorrow so we don't oversaturate the page but stay with me and happy Friday I hope everybody has a great morning it is absolutely beautiful here it is crisp it is cool um, the Sun's gonna come out shortly getting ready to warm up my second cup of coffee get him in the house and get some other babies out uh, it, what can I say? We are just all so very, very blessed and so grateful and so humble. Humbled, 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 right? Balto, you ready to go in? You want to go in here? You want to go in Wilbur's yard? 
Okay, you're gonna get dirty? Go get dirty. Go get dirty. He loves to go in all the new little places. Good boy, Bobos. He's adorable. Please consider opening up your heart, your home to Balto and maybe one of the other rescues that I'm about to share with you. Um, I do have a couple of new dogs that I am working on and the only reason I can save a life is because I have fosters lined up. So I received an urgent email late yesterday um, about a dog in Broward Kill Shelter that has a leg injury and a cast. So his little face just ripped my heart out of my chest. Um, his eyes, his face, he's fluffy and he's in need of rescue because he has a leg injury. He's probably going to need leg surgery. Um, but I'm, I'm trying desperately to get a plan together. So I'm going to be doing a live video. I'm preparing you today of asking for your assistance, uh, for contributions, donations, so that we can uh, help this little dog, Remy, uh, at the Broward Kill Shelter because he's going to need some medical attention and probably surgery. Um, I'm talking about another dog, not Balto, in front of me. So stay with me and please take a moment to vote for Balto. Come on, Balto, let's go. Come on, we can treat, treat, treats. Come, come, come. Come, come, come. Yay, Balto. Come on, let's do it. Balto, come. Balto, come. Balto, come. Balto. See how smart he is? He knows everything that's happening back in the side yard. All right, guys, I'm signing off. And I will be back very, very soon. So stay tuned. Look for the notifications. And I'll see you guys soon. This is Amy and Balto, 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida, located in Oakland Park, Fort Lauderdale, Florida area. We are by appointment only to meet our dogs because we make sure that you are a good match for any dog that you are interested in before we let anybody in this house. We are not letting any new volunteers, just our regulars with COVID. Um, stay safe, everyone, and we'll see you soon.